Education of the faith starts at home, and churchmilitant.tv is here to help. Please consider signing up your family for a churchmilitant.tv premium account for just $10 a month. Your family deserves the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The Boy Scouts of America have voted, with more than 60% of 1,400 members voting, to allow openly homosexual youth to join the organization. The Boy Scouts of America are continuing their opposition to openly gay scout leaders. However, homosexual activists have vowed to continue pressing the issue. The policy change will take effect in January of 2014. State senators from Oklahoma passed a bill on Friday that would defund abortion giant Planned Parenthood in the Sooner State. The bill, which does not mention Planned Parenthood by name, reallocates family planning funds to hospitals and public providers instead of private providers. It should be noted the bill does not state that facilities must be prohibited from performing abortions in order to receive money. A class action lawsuit has been filed against an oral contraceptive company after a group of 60 women claimed wrongful pregnancy while using the pill. The group of women from Canada claim they are upset because they place so much dependency on a product they trusted and are collectively seeking $800 million in compensation. The Catholic Church in Venezuela is running out of wine to celebrate Mass due to a shortage of basic supplies in the South American country. The insufficient supply of some products has forced the only winemaker in the country to stop selling to the church, leaving them with only about two months' supply. Adding to the church's problems, the makers of consecrated bread have told the church they must raise prices because they can't find enough flour. Though government officials in France voted last week to legalize same-sex marriage, Pro-traditional marriage supporters have continued crowding the streets, reaching numbers of over 450,000 people, seeking to demonstrate their opposition to the new law. The leading voice of France's pro-family movement has said there are plans to elect candidates that can reverse the law from within. Until then, people will continue to voice their disapproval with rallies in the streets of France. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about two different kinds of Catholics in the upcoming governor's race in Virginia. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber, where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.